Today we're going to talk about making a pieced wavy border. And with a pieced wavy border, a lot of times anything that is wavy or that has a curve to it and it's pieced can be a little bit difficult. So doing this is a really great way to get some nice wavy borders and makes it fun between two pieces of fabric. And you can do this for oceans or a sunset or something where you want to show just a little bit of border but not straight lines so between the two fabrics so here i have two fabrics and i'm going to place my two fabrics i'm using batiks here i'm going to overlap them and where i overlap them is where i'm going to want to where i'm going to cut my border so when i do that and i overlap them i'm going to overlap them a bit here and i'm going to also look and see underneath that i have them overlapped about an inch and a half approximately you can see here so i know that at the six i don't want to go beyond that when i'm cutting with my rotary cutter i'm going to take them now and place them right sides together and we're going to take our pins or clips and we're going to pin along the wavy border you may have to ease those rounded edges in a little bit but pin or clip close to each other along that border. And we're going to be stitching a quarter inch seam allowance. And as you see, I go from left side to the right side and I start to clip those edges together where I'm going to sew the quarter inch seam allowance. So now you can go ahead and complete clipping it together and then we will go over to the sewing machine. Now go ahead and stitch a quarter inch seam allowance and don't forget to back stitch and you'll do this along the whole length of the strip. And you will continue to do this for each strip that you add. We will now go ahead and press it after uh, stitching our quarter inch seam allowance. To take your fabric to your ironing board and press your seams, you can press your seams to one side or open. Either way will work and you just want to make sure that they are pressed nice and flat. Fold down on your fabric, meaning press it down, make sure it's nice and flat. Press that seam down and then also turn it over and press again and you're ready to add your next strip. Now add your next strip and start with the process again by making a wavy border, overlapping your fabrics, and then pinning them together and sewing a quarter inch seam allowance. And then you can do this with several strips of fabric. You can make the borders wavier or less wavy. You can also make them longer for a quilt and you're done.